in this force situation that's going to give you the power. This does not work like the rotating magneto. This is an oscillator, a real oscillator, and many times we have charged batteries with these oscillators, in fact, to take the place of the wheel. It's not the same effect, but it does charge a battery. And that's all that's important. Did I get all my radio batteries charged? Yes. Here's the other thing. Two of these run an FM transmitter for approximately almost five acres. Three days. Three days in a row. Chuck has just said it because Chuck is the kind of guy that says BS, John. He's one of my guys. But he won't let you get away with anything. He has to prove it to himself. <laughs> So he drove around in a car for days and days and days and says, hey, that's about five football fields that transmission's going. But it's going around five football fields in the radius, right? It's covering a lot of houses. Then now you got communications, you can talk to your friend. If you had to. So you can do what you want to do with this because this is information that, that is on the internet, on the Intergenics Forum. We've used Galena to do this, which is fool's gold, or uh, Iron Pyrate, which is fool's gold. We've used Iron Pyrate, we've used zinc, we've used carbon to do this instantaneous. But this works the best. Normally when you do a salt water battery, you have an increase in the current until the bubbles form on the plates. It doesn't have a depolarizer. As soon as the bubbles are there, the current is gone. This doesn't do that. This generates oxygen. what comes out of there. So Chuck, you wanna where we went? Yes, he was gonna John, can you explain why the bowl works better than a flat strip? The curvature. It allows me to put more of a crystal around the diameter. Surface area. Surface area. You said you built them. Yes, sir, I did. Is it running? Yes, 